Now that is some university. I hate myself too. Hello everyone, my name is Jack Edwards and welcome to my YouTube channel. We are back at university. Um, today is Wednesday. I got back here on Sunday and it's pretty safe to say I've got a lot to do. So... Yeah. Today I thought I'd vlog and show you what a day in my life at university looks like, starting off by going to the gym. Will I film anything in the gym? Absolutely not. Because I am socially awkward. So, without further ado, I'm going to head to the gym and I will see you on the flip side. Okay. I'm back. I have had breakfast, showered, shaved, all that good stuff. I say good, but actually our shower is broken. It's actually been broken since the day that we moved in and we've been holding up with an elastic band, but now even the elastic band has given up on us. So I had to shower like holding the thing, just student house things. The plan for the day is to start writing my Germanic myth and legend essay, which is due on Friday. I've got a lecture at 12. It's my penultimate day of lectures for the whole year. Might fuck around and go rock climbing and I also need to do some general life admin because I still haven't unpacked my suitcase and I moved back to uni four days ago. That's the plan for today. Um, I'm currently sitting in my reading corner which is just a chair and I am going to read a few more acts of I Okay, of As You Like It by William Shakespeare. Bit of an underground author, don't know if you've heard of him. But yeah, I started this yesterday, I'm about two acts in, so I'm gonna try and finish this by the end of the day as well. And I'll see you soon. So unfortunately, some of my plants did not survive the Easter break. This is so sad. It's crispier than Walker's. The Swiss cheese is alive, but only just. So I've just finished reading two more acts of As You Like It and um, basically today I've got my contact lenses back in my eyes for the first time since um, I had to go for an emergency appointment because I had a cornea abrasion which is basically a fancy way of saying that I scratched my eyeball. I scratched my actual eyeball. So uh, I'm not gonna lie it's a little bit sore but we're powering on, we're powering through and I'm going to give my room a little bit of a tidy before I need to head off to my lecture. And when I say a little tidy I mean quite a big tidy because this room is an absolute state. So commence time lapse in three, two, one. And done. The room is looking much tidier. You can actually see the carpet now, which is great. Here's my little desk space. Tidied this up so that I can actually work from it. Okay, so it is time to head to my lecture. Just gonna pack my laptop so I can actually make some notes. Today's lecture is on literary theory. I actually don't know specifically what the lecture is on, but it's all fun and games. I guess we'll find out. I've got to walk there now, so let's go. I'm also popping my headphones in because I'm going to listen to an audiobook as I walk. So I was in that lecture for a whole hour and I still have no idea what it was about. It was very bizarre. But anyway, I've been to pick up an ASOS parcel and now I am heading back home to write some of my essay, eat some pasta, and then I'm going rock climbing. Okay, so for lunch I am going to cook up this. Basically, I have no concepts of portion control. And so the other night I cooked up myself a portion of pasta accidentally made enough to feed like a family of seven and I'm still eating it, so I'm going to heat this up. Um, thank you, past me, for your past errors. Or should I say, pasta errors. It's just like a little chicken and sweet corn pasta in a tomato sauce, um, and I'm quite excited about it. Is this microwavable? Uh, one way to find out, I guess. Oh, you're ready now, oh. <laughs> oh, hey, Blanche. Can we talk about the fact that I'm cooking up this leftover pasta, and Ella's got this bloody Gourmet pizza. So I'm all changed and ready to go to climbing and I've got my chalk. Um, funny story about this is that we went to Bulgaria um, for my housemate Ella's 21st birthday over the Easter break and when we were there we were planning to go rock climbing and so I thought, oh, I'll bring my, my chalk. However, this, going through security at an airport, definitely looks like an illegal substance so I decided against doing that and I think it was probably for the best. In the words of Miley Cyrus, it's the climb. It's the climb. Go on, Sam. Go on, Sam. So I'm back from climbing now. It was a really good session, but I spent way longer there than I intended to. It's so late now. So now I really need to get on with my essay because it is due 
very soon. However, we did just have another brief interruption because we came in and all of a sudden, all of the alarms in my house just started randomly going off and we don't know why. So that's great. If someone finds this SD card and I never upload this video to YouTube, then it's probably because we all died of carbon monoxide poisoning. Now you know. Anyway, I need to stop procrastinating and just do the essay. Okay, let's talk through how I start writing an essay. Step one is to choose what you're writing the essay about. In this instance, it was American Gods by Neil Gaiman. Next up is to look at the questions. There were two different questions that I could have answered on this book, so I wrote them down and then did my research. So my early research was kind of general articles and then I looked a bit deeper, and through doing that I kind of picked which of the two questions I was going to do, but still kept the other one in mind. And in this instance, I actually changed questions after doing more research because I realised actually there was more stuff to back up one of the questions and I felt like I could answer that one better having done the research. Next I make my essay research log. So this is a document which has all of the information that I need and I fill this out as I do all of the reading that I need to do. So here we have my research log. It's broken down into columns of source, quote, page reference, publishing information, and then additional information. So I just write little notes to remind myself of things there. The first section is for primary sources. So obviously for this one it is American Gods. After that we come to secondary sources and now this is where it gets quite bulky. So basically there are just loads and loads of pages with all of the information, all of the different articles that I've read and it really helps to just have all your page numbers ready, all your referencing sorted so that you don't need to worry about that later down the line. I would recommend for a university essay to do two to five days worth of reading. Just dedicate that time to just doing research. In this instance I did two days worth but in an ideal world, with the ideal amount of time, I would have done five. But you know, sometimes these things don't work out. So the next task is to go back through all of the research that I've done, um, because you do forget things and you do kind of lose track. I also um, jot down ideas that I have as I go along into a separate document, so they're all on my laptop. So now I've printed this out, I'm going to sit down with it and make notes on everything in a coloured pen, and then from this and the notes that I've got on my laptop, I'll make an essay plan, and from the essay plan, I will write an essay. Hopefully. The devil speaking to me and my life in my sleep. I hide to the pain stops. The only way I can't feel you said I was the only one. Never see you. Okay, so that is all done. As you can see, the notes I make are quite um, extensive, but this will be so handy in the long run. And so now the next task is to make a plan for the actual essay. Now that all of these things are like fresh in my brain and I'm thinking about all of them all at once, you kind of end up forming arguments. And so just through reading all of that, I already know exactly what my line of argument is going to be. And paragraphs pretty much form themselves. Through doing that, through doing that reading, you end up linking critics and different readings that you've done in your head. So now those become arguments, if that makes sense. So hopefully now it should all come together. We'll see. Okay, so I've just finished up writing my plan. It's actually a thousand words long, which is looking good considering the essay has to be 3,000 words, so this is a good start. By the way, just in case any of you are interested, I am 100% sure that none of you are. The title of the essay that I've been assigned is The Old Norse deities are unscrupulous, violent, and often feckless, yet they are gods. That is why they are so attractive to writers with a moral agenda. Discuss this in relation to Gaiman's American gods. Gaiman's. Gaiman's. Nil. Neil. Let's call him Neil. So what I'm going to do now is have some dinner um, and let this all kind of like brew in my brain. Ideally I'd write the plan one day and then the next day write the essay so I had the night to like sleep on it and kind of work it all out in my brain. We don't have that luxury so I'm not going to do that. So I've got no food. I basically haven't done a shop yet. I was going to go to Aldi this morning but then your boy forgot to do his work. So I've basically just been through the cupboard and looked at what I had and I'm going to make shakshuka, which I had for the first time in Tel Aviv in November and it was absolutely wonderful. So I'll show you how to make it. Firstly, fry up some onions. This would be better with white onions, but I only have red onions. So we're just, listen, we're just making the best of a bad situation. I need to eat. This is a yellow courgette. It looks like a banana. It looks Nothing disgusting. <laughs> it looks so bad. Can't wait for dinner. I've never even had one before. So <laughs> it might be shit. I don't know. <laughs> How do you like just change the color of a vegetable? 
I assume they grow that way. Stay tuned for more cutting edge content. Next, we're going to pop in a whole can of chunky chopped tomatoes. Why is your face so close to it? Well, because I was going to make a joke. <laughs> I was just going to say that um, I love this recipe from my head to my toes. Tomatoes. Toma tomatoes. Okay, so I can't imagine that like Jamie Oliver and Gordon Ramsay ever forget to tell you what they're doing, but I just added some ham in. However, this is an optional step. This could very easily be a vegetarian meal, but um, this one isn't. I'd normally put like chorizo in here, but I don't have any of that, so we've gone for ham. This really is going to be absolutely dreadful. Coming up next, we're <laughs> going to put the cumin in. I'm going to be cumin when I eat this. <laughs> That was inappropriate. If my grandparents are watching this, <laughs> sorry. I have also added some salt and pepper. You could also add paprika, but um, guess what? I don't have it. I do. You have paprika? This just got 10 times better. I've also started cooking up some halloumi to go with this because I, I like halloumi. <laughs> okay, so it turns out my camera's been on some bloody sunset mode this whole time, which is why it's been so yellow. Basically, the tomato concoction down below has been on a hot heat, like a high temperature. Why am I explaining that? It's pretty straightforward. And now I've got three eggs. Oh, this one's got bird shit on it. Anyway, so basically what we're going to do is cause little like gaps in amongst the tomato and then crack an egg in that gap and then put a lid in it and the eggs will cook and it will be bloody lovely. It is the idea, hopefully, maybe, possibly, potentially. And I've just popped some bread in the toaster because that is going to be used for dunking. What is the yellow courgette verdict? Tastes a bit like a pumpkin. Do you want to try it? No. So I cracked some eggs into the shakshuka, had a cracking time, and now I'm popping the lid on there. I don't want to say I smashed it, but somehow I smashed it. I don't know how this has gone to plan, like, usually on this channel everything kind of just goes wrong, so hopefully I'll just like burn myself soon or something. Since you mentioned you only own the skillet to make shakshuka in it, that's also quite pretentious. Jackshuka. Oh, no. <laughs> Tastes like victory. Honestly, that went almost too well. Like, I'm genuinely feeling suspicious. Watch me get food poisoning in the next vlog. So now I'm going to get back to writing the essay. I'm planning to get about a thousand words done tonight, hopefully. Will that happen first or will I have a mental breakdown? Stay tuned to find out. The optimal focus playlist is on. It's time to focus. <laughs> I'm starting to become absolutely brain dead. Um, I've decided to take a quick break and empty my suitcase. I think it's kind of a good idea when you're trying to focus on something. If you do take a break to do something else, do something that is still productive and also is away from a phone. <laughs> there um editing jack coming at you through the webcam because i never filmed an outro to this vlog i just wanted to say thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it um it's such a weird mismatch of a vlog there's so many things that happened on this day um so sorry it doesn't make an awful lot of sense but i hope you enjoyed it anyway after filming those clips i did carry on with my essay and then i went to bed um, and I was honestly like so brain dead. I think it's for everyone's benefit that I never filmed an outro that night <laughs> But yeah for now. Thank you so so much for watching. I've been Jack Edwards This has been a day in my life at university and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye